All right, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is going to be the machine edition or the machine simulator. We're going to get this going back and forth with a start push button where we've utilized our APC DDE. Now, again, that code is written like this. What we need to do in order, because this is using two, uh, this is using the same APC. So we need to make an, another OPC and let's call this OPC DDE D D E conveyor. And what we'll do is we'll keep this all underscore like that, just and then we'll point it to the the system. We'll make sure that it's pointed to it correctly. And then we'll come over here and then what we'll do to double check that our, that our system is working. So we'll come over here and make sure that right here we are pulling our data. We are pulling our data and what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll copy that and I'll come back to my Excel spreadsheet, my Excel spreadsheet right here and I'll replace this. I'll just delete this and delete this and then I'll paste special, paste the link in here. That gives me my conveyor forward uses my DDE connection and I'm going to do the same exact thing for the other one. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select DDE online. I'm going to do the reverse and then I'm going to come over here, paste special for the reverse. Use the paste link. We have the paste link in here. We're going to come over here and adjust our VBA code behind this and instead of conveyor, we're going to call this um, we named our DDE OPC topic is called DDE conveyor. So what we want to do is come over here and call this DDE conveyor and make sure we did, we did do all solid one word. So DDE conveyor and then come up for our topic and then DDE conveyor. Now with that said, these are just variables. This is a variable. This is a variable. This is a variable. We're declaring the variables right here. We're going to do an application poke, application DDE poke, and we're going to poke the channel, the tag, and the range to poke. The range to poke is set to A7 up here and A8, A10 right here. We're going to hit save and A7 and A10. A7 has got a one value of one. A10 has a value of zero. So basically a start stop push push button station. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and look in the code to verify this works. And we still don't have a working system. <clears throat> so what we need to do is troubleshoot why we don't have a working system. So this is coming down and we can troubleshoot and see why we're not using why is it not actually using this the tag that we have used start push button start push button and sometimes it's the matter of coming in here looking at the start push button is it just being used or is it what kind of tag is it is it a controller tag? It needs to be a controller tag to be able to use it. So that is the start start PB. We we can double check that by just come over here, copying this. Come over here and pasting it in here, just to make sure we have everything correct. Um, and this is part of troubleshooting, right? Uh, we are in sheet one. So worksheets, we are in sheet one. So we're in sheet one. Then we're, our range is where are we at? And then, so everything should be set properly. Um, aside from the fact of maybe we can capitalize links, which I don't think has a bearing to be honest with you. spell that correctly. I don't think that has a bearing on anything, but we are declaring our app. 
we're initiating the DDE connection right here. Our app, <clears throat> our very first thing is our app and that app is going to be RS links. And then we're coming in, opening up our topic and we're, we're saying our topic is DDE underscore conveyor. And we'll save that, see if that helps us out a little bit. I don't think it will. To be honest with you, I don't I don't really see that being a showstopper <coughs> for this matter. So we have to still come over here and troubleshoot why we are not communicating. This is click one, click two, the modules in here, everything is running, everything works. So let's see the DDE, DDE, DDE tag right here. We can put DDE element, whatever we want to call it. This is just a DDE tag. <clears throat> and then come over here and look at the initiation. We're initiating it. Do the, that's all correct. This is correct. Range to poke. Uh, that's my, that is where I made a mistake. Here we go. So, and this is the reason why you put error code in your VBA code. If you do not put error code in here, but see, if you see right here what I did, I forgot when I spelled range to poke, I forgot the E in here, but I did not put it in here. So it was working but it could not accomplish it because it could not poke the whole thing because the variable that I put right here wasn't coincide, wasn't matching right there. So this is the sole reason why that wouldn't work. Okay. So uh, the reason I'm making this video and the way I'm making it the way that I am is so that you can easily troubleshoot and easily see what's happening. You see that did work this time. So if we open up the conveyor, we open up, we can see right here, Right here, we're looking at forward. Forward is, is a one. When it hits the photo eye, it's gonna go reverse is a one right now. If we stop it, then everything stops. If we start it back, it starts back and everything works. So I made this video to simply uh, show that you can, you have like for one, there, I, this, this is a video that I made a long time ago with the, the machine edition or the machine simulator with the box going back and forth and a real simple conveyor, a real simple logic scenario, right? You can easily see how simple that logic is right here. It just makes the photo eye, goes one direction, makes the other photo eye go the other direction. Very simple controls, but mainly to obviously to get, let me, let's shorten this down a little bit, to also get the let's just change this to give it a better standpoint maybe we can get all this in full screen <clears throat> at least where you can see it and let's shrink that down just a little bit so that you can see that a stop we have a stop button now we have a start button and it's excel base okay so it's all excel base so that's doing an excel we're doing a read up here and we're so these two are reads right based upon our connection and this is a this right here is a write so if I'm writing data to it I'm sending that that what's in the value of t of, of a 10 which is in my code right here which is in my code a 10 the value of a 10 is the stop the value of a 7 would be the start so if I come back in here and I minimize this and I hit start, then it starts the, the actual push button. It starts the conveyor system and everything works like it's supposed to. Now, again, I made this video because I was troubleshooting that and I was like, why did I have this? There's something wrong about that. But this is exactly why you have error code. You build in error code in your VBA code, whether it be in Excel, whether it be in factory talk, whether it be in whatever you're doing. Now, I did not build in error code. But I had to figure out and I had to troubleshoot exactly why I, this system was not working. With that said, I wanted to make sure that I pass on because when I make videos, I don't just make every, every, every video as if everything is perfect. I want to make sure that when I am working on a problem 
and I have something that I need to figure out, what is my methodology? What, how am I looking at it to see where my problem is? And that often helps and empowers other people to know what they're doing wrong. So with that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.